Good morning. Out for a drive here, and you know what we're going to talk about? Cavities. Why are we going to talk about cavities? Because I got one. I was eating some popcorn last night and uh, bit down on a kernel and I chipped off part of a tooth. I thought, well, how weird, you know? And uh, so then, well, I got to keep going here. When I got through eating with my popcorn, I got my little flashlight and shined it around on that tooth. And you know what? There was a little cavity there. Still is. So now, I got to go to a dentist to get it drilled and filled, I guess. I don't know what they're going to do. I, I don't know what my options are because part of the tooth is gone. And as you know, Medicare doesn't pay for dental at all. Now, maybe some in some special circumstances, but normally they don't. Because I had a, uh, what do you call it, a cap on a tooth done in Del Rio. Medicare didn't pay. Poo poo. No, they checked. It's a no, nothing, nothing, honey. So here we are. And uh, but anyway, is that one of the pleasures of growing older? Not really. I don't think so. I mean, I guess teeth wear out like everything else. But uh, that's this is the first cavity I've had in probably sixty years. You know, I don't get cavity. And uh, anyway, I looked at all my other teeth, and they're fine. And uh, so, I suppose this next week that I, me, will go to a dentist here in Ruidoso, or yeah, and uh, get something done. If I get an appointment, I mean, you know, sometimes dentists, you know, they're a doctor like all these other guys. You know, if they've got enough patients to keep them rich, you know, they, they don't want to take anybody else. So. We'll see how it goes but you know whenever something like that happens i guess you know the best thing to do is just take care of business you know what i mean you can't put it off with dental because the cavity gets into the nerve and you know then you got to have a, a rat canal or a root canal and go go into more expense so it's one of the old wisdom teeth anyway it probably could be pulled but it's one of my good chewing teeth, you know what I mean? One of my chewers, one of my grinders on the left side, back left. So on and on it goes, guys. On and on it goes. Is that the message for the day? I guess, check all your teeth with a flashlight and see if you got any black spots in there. And if you do, uh, get some paint, paint them white. <laughs> that way, that way you can't tell it's a cavity. I did think about that. I went on the internet and checked for options, you know, other than going to a dentist. I was going to check and see if I could find some medicine to stick in there and get by. It, they ain't. There's none. You can't cheat with teeth. What happens is it gets in the root and all that crap. But enough said about that. Well, not enough. We ain't through with cavities yet. When's the last time you had a cavity? Uh... Well, I just mentioned mine, but you know, some people have bad teeth. My teeth are good. I have no problem. I've never had quote dental issues uh, at all. I've had, uh, let's see, I've had two wisdom teeth pulled, the upper two, and then the back two are still sitting there just in midair because there's nothing to match them at the top. So, but anyway, they may eventually have to go sometime. But unfortunately, this is not one of those. It's the one, see, let me count. It's one, one, two, it's the third tooth from the back on the left side, left lower side. Yeah. I know you'll know where it is now. You can picture it. You can visualize it better now. Yeah, th those are the things that happen. You, know, you, you don't have a budget for that. I imagine it'll be a thousand bucks. It seems like everything's a thousand bucks at the dentist's office. Except teeth cleaning, that's probably 200. But moving along, guys, life goes on and I'm going with it as long as I can. And uh, 
Yeah, it's it's you got to learn how to be older. You know, like I'm 77, be 78 soon, and I got to learn how to be there. You know, I got to learn how to be that age. You know, does that mean I have to change my lifestyle? It might. <laughs> I don't know, man. But I still get around good. I walk good and you know exercise good and all that stuff. But climbing ladders is kind of not on the agenda. Uh, what else? Uh, well, that's about it. You know, and steps, you have to be careful on steps. You don't want to slip and fall. You, know, you kind of have to be more alert. Am I? I don't know. Probably some of the time. It's a pretty drive here, isn't it? I call this the S's because you go left and right, left and right. These are ones that are fun to come down pulling a travel trailer and then come to one of those switchbacks right at the bottom. <laughs> I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. You know, you've already burned up your brakes and now you gotta go completely back the other way. What does that have to do with cavities? Nothing. I think. Man, that surprised me. I, I, it's funny, I hadn't noticed it before. I don't know how long it's been coming on, but it, it's, well, it's, it's not real noticeable. It's not, it's about as big as a pencil head or, yeah, that big. But whatever it is, it caused from one side of the tooth to cave in. It is, uh, what is it, 70, oh, excuse me, 67 degrees right now, 10.30 a.m. Not bad, not bad. We're headed to Capitan, New Mexico from Ruidoso, New Mexico on highway, on highway, I think this is 48. I never, I get the numbers mixed up. 380 goes east and west from Capitan, 48 kind of goes north and south. 70 goes, I don't know, east, west, maybe? I don't think, don't care. 54 goes north, south. 25 goes north, south. I'm going south. No, I'm going north, sorry. I'm going due north right now. Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to get in my head that Capitan is due north of Ruidoso. Isn't this a fun video, though? Cavity, can you believe that crap? Jesus, ain't you got no manners? No kidding. I didn't get cavities when I was a kid either. So I, I you know, I've got good teeth, or our, our family has good teeth. My sister doesn't have any dental issues, uh, neither one of them as far as I know. And uh, so I guess we got good dental genes. Yeah, can you imagine back in the old, in the 1700s, uh, uh, you know, the, the barber pole, the reason it was red and white wasn't because for, wasn't for haircuts, it was because that's where you went to get bled. You know, whenever you, if you felt sick, that meant you had bad blood. So you'd go to the bleeder and they'd bleed out about a pine or so. And, and, uh, it, it, and if you didn't get any better, they'd just keep bleeding you <laughs> until they bled you to death. Isn't that crap? I'm sure we're going to look back on some of our medical science today, 20 years from now, or 30 or 50 or whatever, and we're just going to laugh, you know, that we were in the Stone Ages. Yeah, but uh, dentists back then, you know, they used pliers, hammers, you know, you know real modern equipment. You know, they used to have people hold the patient in the chair so they could jerk out a tooth. <laughs> Crazy. Well, anyway, guys, just wanted to bring you up to date that I'm going to get my cavity drilled soon, as soon as I get an appointment. Hopefully, I can get one. But from this, it, from wherever we are between Ruidoso and Capitan, New Mexico, on a beautiful day again, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem being seized today in Latin. Carpe diem adios. Bye-bye.
buy anything you want, anytime. If you think about it, use the Amazon link. Doesn't cost you a penny, just drink. And drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. And if you get a cavity, take a hammer and a screwdriver and bang on it until you get all that black out of there, right? And then you're done. So you've done what the dentist will do. Or get you a drill. Yeah, get you a drill and drill it out. That's all they do. And then they fill it with something, whatever they've got handy. You know, anyway, enjoy your day, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.